Hi guys, it's Paula. As most of you probably know by now, I have just finished my freshman year of college. And that's weird. That is very weird. <laughs> it still doesn't really feel like it happened, but I know that it did happen. And now I'm back home for the summer. And naturally, when you do something for the first time, or you have an experience that is completely new to you, you learn some things. And my freshman year of college taught me so many things. So today I'm going to share with you 17 things that I learned from my freshman year of college. And I chose 17 because I graduate in 2017, so I thought that would be cool. It's probably not that cool, but just go with it. So these are just some things that I learned, things that I realized about myself, or things that I want you guys to know if some of you are going off to college soon and you're not really sure what to expect. So without further ado, 17 things I learned at college. You choose your friends and who you hang out with. Most likely when you go into your freshman year, you're not going to know a single person there. So you choose who you want to be your friends and who you want to actually hang out with. If you are hanging out with somebody and you don't really like them, stop hanging out with them. Like, it's no big deal. In high school, it's so hard because everyone has their group of friends, everyone has their cliques already, and it's kind of hard to change up your group of friends if you want to. But in college, it's just so much easier because people are willing to accept you into their group of friends or invite you to do things or you could have like two or three different friend groups and that's totally okay. And going along with that, you can be friends with anyone you want. If there's like somebody in your classes and you're like, that person seems so cool and so nice and I just want to be friends with that person, go talk to them and you can be their friend. Ask them to study with you. Ask them to get coffee with you. Like anything and you guys can become friends. Like it's that easy to make friends in college. I'm not even joking. You're going to have to work pretty hard to maintain your figure especially if you have a dining hall with unlimited um, meal swipes. You're gonna eat a lot and you're gonna feel lazy and you're not gonna wanna go to the gym. So if you wanna avoid gaining weight, I, that didn't work out so well for me, but you can totally do that. Just work hard and know in your head what you wanna do to maintain your figure and you can do that. In college, you learn who you are and what you stand for. And it's okay to stand by those things even if people disagree with you. This is a time when you find yourself and you realize who you are and what do you think about things. Whether you finally realize like what political party you belong to, how you feel about your religion, or what you think about drinking, or sex, or drugs, or anything like that. It's just you start to realize what you think about and what you value in life. And if other people disagree with you, it's okay to still be yourself and stand up for those things. You can do that. If you hook up with a guy, he might not text you ever again. Just don't worry about it. You're gonna drive yourself crazy thinking about it and it's honestly not worth it. Going along with that, boys are dumb. Don't get fixated on them. And if you're a guy watching this, I'm sorry, I'm not saying that all of you are like dumb and stupid, but just girls get so fixated on guys and they need to have a crush at all times. They need to have like someone they're hanging out with or a boyfriend or someone to hook up with. And what's the point? There is no point. We set ourselves up for this cycle of heartbreak and betrayal and it's not worth it. So go crush on people if you want, go on dates, go get a boyfriend if you want to, but it is not the most important thing in your life, okay? You might not be friends with all the people that you talk to in the beginning of the year, and that's okay. Those were just the people that you immediately found and you wanted to be friends with, but things change, people change. You might find other friends, they might find other friends, and it's totally okay to kind of grow apart. A big thing that I learned this year is people won't think that your YouTube channel is weird like they did in high school. They're gonna think it's pretty freaking cool. So if you do have a channel, don't be afraid to like put it out there and tell people because you're proud of the stuff you do and people in college just tend to like accept that a little bit more so I definitely learned that this year. When one person gets sick, everybody gets sick. Especially if it's your roommate or somebody on your floor. You will have a Friday night or a Saturday night where you stay in and do homework and that is okay. Whether you choose to stay in and do that or there's just simply nowhere else to be or nothing going on. Or maybe your friends like ditched you, like that might happen. It is okay, you do not have to go out every weekend if you don't want to. Your first official college finals week will be hell, but most likely we're no break and Christmas is right after that, so it's gonna be worth it. In the winter, you will use the cold and the snow 
as an excuse for why you stayed in all weekend. You might live off of Cliff Bars because they taste good and they wake you up. Don't wear a lanyard with your ID on it around your neck because you will definitely stand out as a freshman. That is one of my biggest regrets for a semester. I legitimately had my little Vera Bradley wristlet with a lanyard attached and I wore it around my neck. Hello, freshman coming through, get out my way. <laughs> Sometimes, especially if you have like an 8 a.m. and your roommate doesn't, and when you wake up they're still sleeping, you might have to do your makeup in the dark. And you might think that's really hard. It's actually not, you're gonna get quite used to it. <laughs> Housing sign up and registering for classes are going to be some of the most stressful and frustrating parts of your life. Even if you love your roommate, you are going to cherish your alone time. College is so social, and you know in high school, after school, you could just come home, unload, go to your room, be by yourself, maybe say hi to your parents, and that's about it. College, you come back to your room, there's people on your floor, your roommate might be there. You are just constantly, constantly talking to people, so when you get the chance to have your alone time and to just like relax, you don't have to talk to anybody, just take advantage of that because sometimes you don't get that much alone time. You are going to cry about something. Whether you're homesick or you miss someone or you're just going through some tough things at school and you don't have your parents or your siblings or your best friend from back home to talk to, it is okay to cry. It is okay. It's really good to just let it out and you're probably going to have to do that once or twice or more. So those are 17 things that I learned from my freshman year of college. I really hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I am officially home for the summer, so you will not be seeing my dorm room backdrop anymore. I hope that's okay. I mean, I'm never going back to that room ever again, so that's kind of sad. But yeah, I am just home for summer, so if you have any video requests at all of things you want to see this summer, let me know in a comment down below. If you have any more questions about college anything, seriously anything, leave me a comment down below. Feel free to inbox me or DM me on Twitter or email me, anything like that. I am here to help you guys if you're scared about college or you just don't know what to expect or you want to know what I thought of Marquette. Like, honestly, if you're deciding between things. I definitely want to help you guys, so let me know about that. I really need to stop blabbing though, so um, I'm gonna go. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. That was so stupid. I'm never saying goodbye again. Okay, bye. <laughs>